That's what I stay like. Serving you a little 90s vibe with the crop turtleneck. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ooh, the bun is lopsided, honey. I'm weak. Welcome back to my channel, Shelly TV on YouTube. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? How y'all living? We are here today to do another colorful look. Y'all already know that's all I do. This is something that I saw on Instagram that I actually did recreate. I'll put the picture up right here. Yes, so I did recreate this look already, but I was saying to myself, why not try and switch those? Okay, but anyways, like I was saying, <laughs> why not try to switch the colors of what I did recreate and make something a little bit different? So switch the colors a little bit. We're gonna play in some colors as usual. Let me sit back and relax and enjoy. Keep on watching. So because you guys know, I'm sure you all know my eyebrow, my I'm sure you all know my eyebrow routine, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and then we'll go right into eyeshadow and the rest of the face. Girl, 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 girl. All right, y'all. My eyebrows are done, sort of. <laughs> so we're gonna go right into the eyeshadow, start with priming the lids. You all know what I love to use my Ruby's Kisses, my LA Girl Pro Concealer, and Toffee. are nice and prime so now we're gonna go right into our eyeshadow so y'all know y'all already know my favorite Ooh, girl the dust honey we gotta get your camera ready what is this well it is what it is we're gonna go right into our juvia's place palette i'm gonna take this hot pink color here and start off the base i keep forgetting to turn off my fan while i'm recording like it's not tremendously loud i'm gonna go in with my bh cosmetics brush number 120 to start off the base. It's a little bit of a mixed setting spray to intense that color. <laughs> Not gonna lie to y'all, I don't usually wet the brushes, but now I see that that is what I need to do. I have never gotten this much like Juvia's place is pigmented, obviously, but I've never gotten this much pigmentation in one go. Oh my god. Don't I match my walls? Well, under this, y'all know the original color that I always have. I match the walls right now. Because I see that we're going a little bit high, I'm going to go into our number 121 brush. It's just a slanted brush. I'm going to a little bit of brown. Just blend out the top because we're getting a little bit high. See? A lot more blended compared to this one. So we're going to do the same thing to the other eye. pink wetting the brush really oh my god now I'm gonna go into a little bit of a black to darken up the pink into where our crease is gonna be just gonna spray some NYX one more time
flashbacks in my other video. <laughs> but it's not it, y'all. It's not it. We have our base and a little bit of a deeper tone going on. So now we're going to go right into our cut crease using our Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit. We're going to be using the color cream and I have the medium. The longevity of each one doesn't matter because we're going to end up doing the whole darker thing anyway. So, okay. Okay. We're going to fill in our cut creases with yellow and orange. For the yellow, I'm going to use my Juvia's Place palette one more time. Spray the brush so we get that maximum color. Yellow is always difficult. Wow. I just did something wrong. Wow, there you go. So with this yellow, it takes me a while to get it to actually show up. I use this elf angle brush to get into just the top of it on a little elf angle brush just so you don't see that line of demarcation between the pink and the yellow you just see yellow <laughs> Loving this. I'm loving this. Okay. Okay. Don't get too excited. Okay. <laughs> For orange, same Juvia's Place palette. The orange that's in this one. I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna use that. Can't talk. I'm gonna use that on its own and blend in the pink and yellow together. Spraying my brush one more time. Wet up my mirror again. You know, typical. Shall we? foolishness girl look at that it looks like a crayon oh my god oh my god i can't i can't do this i really cannot Juvia's place like gonna go back into the pink make that pink a little bit darker and blend it into the end of this orange gonna clean it up and then we're gonna go into the second step of this look I'm gonna be using check I'm 
gonna be using Chestnut and LA Girl Pro Concealer to clean this up. A lot of people use tape. I don't like to do that because one, it makes my skin ashy. <laughs> And don't nobody got time to be moisturizing and putting extra things on our face after we're already putting a lot of things on our face with our makeup anyway. And two, I just feel like using a concealer just helps everything blend better. It can help you even with preparation for your foundation. I wanted to put something lighter under my eyes to hide dark spots and to clean it up. I could do that as well. But I choose to use something that's a little bit closer to my skin tone. I just don't like using tape. That's just not my thing. And it comes out just as clean anyway when I do it this way. So why not, you know? Now for the part that makes me nervous. We're going to use our concealer and we are going to create a wing. Keep, stay with me, stay with me, okay? <laughs> because I don't have a tool for this. A lot of people have tools for this. I don't, so what I did was I improvised. I'm very good at doing that. I used the brush from a glitter that I have. This is it, just wiped off the glitter and this is what I'm gonna be using to make my wing with. Anastasia Beverly Hills. And we're gonna use that same cream color that we used for our cut crease. And we're gonna make a wing with that. Got one wing done, I'm gonna do the other one off camera and then we're going to go into the next step of this look. I finished the second one. Don't don't worry about if this one is longer than this one. We're gonna get it together. We're gonna get it together. I'm gonna fill in this concealer going pink, orange, yellow. Nothing is changing. Except that the pink is probably not gonna be as dark. It's gonna be just the regular pink on its own using that same elf brush. Clean it up now with the same chestnut color. We are done with the eyes. Now we're gonna go into the face. Okay, so I'm gonna do my color correcting with the LA Girl Pro Concealer Orange Corrector on all my dark spots that I want to hide. Color correcting is different for every skin tone. For mine, I have to use orange tones or red tones, but for everybody it varies, so always keep that in mind. With color corrector, don't blend it out too much to where it doesn't help you color correct, but also blend it out enough to where when you put your foundation over it, it's helping you cover whatever you don't want to be seen. So don't blend away too much, pretty much. Go to apply our foundation, use the 355 in 
Matte Poreless by Maybelline. We're just gonna apply that to the face, all over the face, get our foundation popping. We're going to our LA Girl Pro Concealer to highlight. Now we are going to go into our HD Flawless and set everywhere we just highlighted. Giving you Wakanda, yes. Serving you Lion King, fish, absolutely. And now we set the face. It's time for that glow. We're gonna go into our LA girl strobe light. Listen, LA girl, you y'all we need to have a conversation. Okay, because I use all of y'all products. BH Cosmetics. This one right here. My fingers probably look crazy right now. It's all in the process. <laughs> going to apply lashes, do my bottom lash, apply some lipstick, and I'll be right back. This is the finished and final look. I added some lashes, added a little bit more glow, did some pink under my eye, um, added some mascara on my lower lash line, and this is the final and finished look. I added a little, you know, little cute yellow top to go along with the eye. Um, this is the final look, and I cannot even explain to you guys how proud I am of this because I was really nervous the first time even more nervous to be recording it the second time so you know oh yes um lips I never give y'all a lip color I never do anything with my lips I'm a very gloss shiny girl what I did was I used vivid matte liquid by Maybelline in this like matte pink color and then I used this regular brown lip pencil on the outsides went like this a couple times and we got this nude little pink cute 
dark skin chocolate honey nude lip okay and hold up shout out to my baby trey trunks make sure y'all go stream give me a check on soundcloud listen to it it's fire it's heatery make sure y'all go watch that i hope you did enjoy this makeup tutorial um i tried to do a little bit less talking a little more doing a little more showing tell me if you think it was better if you like me talking more you know let me know thank you guys all once again for watching my makeup tutorial watching this video and i will see you loves in my next video bye guys what is going on what I did to my arm I'm just done sometimes man the orange the orange and the yellow